And we're off. Where to exactly, I'm not sure. I'm still looking for the trail. <clears throat> it is day 69. Oh yeah. So 12's gonna sleep in for a little bit. And obviously I'm headed out. Riffraff is throwing trail magic in another like nine miles. Nine and a half, something like that. I think that's where I came in. That'd be good enough. Maybe this isn't where I came in. Oh. Um, yeah. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. Anyway. Riff Raff is having trail magic, and we're going to try to make it there before lunch, hang out for a few hours, and let 12 catch up. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let me find my way through this rhododendron maze. Uh, this is one of the more comfortable mornings as far as temperature, wind, and all that fun stuff. I'm not even wearing cold gloves. Wow. Have we turned a corner? God, I hope so. All right, today is the last nice day, and then it's supposed to rain for the next 10 days solid. But we have a room reserved, nice cheap room. Oh, I like cheap. In, I don't remember the name of the next town, but it's not actually the next town, it's through the next town and the town beyond it, because the town beyond it was way cheaper. So we're gonna get there, have ourselves an excellent night, and then carry on to which trail day is. We could hang out with Riff Raff, they'll slack pack us and all sorts of stuff. Well, that's what they claim. Uh, but we already got our agenda set out, so we don't actually need anything from them. I'm just going to meet them, see if there's anybody I know there. Hang out, have a few beers, you know. Trail magic. But I don't need the rides and all that stuff. I mean, it'd be cool to get a ride into town. But I doubt they'd be at the gap I need them to be, so... Eh, maybe they'll see me standing there with my thumb out or something. Okay, let's get our hike on. It is just such a pleasant morning. We're a little ahead of schedule. We were supposed to be doing 15s. And that would have got us everywhere we needed to go, as far as we could tell. But we've been doing just a little bit more. So we're planning on doing like a 15 today. And then tomorrow we'd have... According to the original plan, I think it was seven miles into town the next day. But if we do 15 today, that'll put us within like three or four miles of town tomorrow. Which is cool because we still have to get through the first town to the second town. Gives us a little time for our room to open up and stuff. And then hopefully be able to get in town, get all our chores done before it starts raining. And then on to trail days, and it's of course going to be a wet, wet one. I'm a little concerned where I'm going to set up my hammock. I don't know how much hammocking space they had available. I'd have to assume I'm going to be forced into Tent City. Unfortunate, but hey, as long as I find a place to set up, I am cool with that. But maybe the universe will intervene and get me there earlier than I expected.
Smooth. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> ah, good stuff. Mm. Super safety meeting on the run or walk. It's such smooth, nice terrain. I'm really pleased with it. And the spider eye is shining. Hope you guys can swim. It's gonna be coming down for a week, at least. I am tired of rain, but at least the forecast is calling for warm rain. It'll be in the upper 60s. It's going to be rained on. Yeah, at least it should be warm. I don't really like rain, but I really detest cold rain. One more safety meeting, just one more. Even though it doesn't focus, we all know what that is. It's in a bunch of them. They're just coming down land, the first lines. So blazing has not yet begun. Ooh, my stomach is growling. Uh, down there was the shelter. It was packed. Probably a good dozen tents around it. No man, I enjoy waking everybody up at the next shelter. But I was going to be kind. It's a bit early for them. Had it been another half hour, 45 minutes, yeah, I'd probably stop to make sure everybody's awake. The sun's up, man. Get it going. But that was a bit too early even for me to wake people up. Well, of course, it was raining or something. I needed a place to hide. Thought about second coffee. But, eh, I don't really get my ass to the trail magic. Kick back there even longer. Still plan on doing a 15 mile day. It's nice seeing 12 get stronger. When I met her, she was doing eights and had done two 12s. Now she's doing 15 plus consecutively. You know, that feels powerful in just a few weeks to double your mileage and not hurt. I just dropped a deuce and did a wardrobe change and it was a really great deuce. The weather's good and I'm listening to the birds chirp. It's way better than your BM this morning. I guarantee it. It's good.
first bit of sunshine. I'm curious how the dog that is dictating New York's hike, because pretty much he can't be social or friendly with anybody. They have to camp by themselves. They have to get way off trail when other people are coming by. I don't even know his girlfriend's name. She's been antisocial the whole time, but she has a very aggressive dog, so she has no choice. Sucks that he's letting a dog dictate his hike, but eh, that's how he's letting it happen. I'm curious how it's going to work at Trail Magic right here. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of people. And maybe the dog just hates me. I've heard it hates other people, but I haven't seen it react as strongly to other people as it does to me. Because obviously that dog has no taste. But this is supposed to be a very, very big Trail Magic. There's one right afterwards. Now, do they have to avoid Trail Magics as well? Like, nah, sorry, we can't partake in these festivities. We brought a bad dog. And then if it's as aggressive as this, how's it going to be a trail days? Do they have to avoid trail days? <laughs> like, that dog's leash isn't short enough with the amount of people that are going to be there. And if it's anywhere near as aggressive with other people as it is with me, I can't imagine it not biting several people at trail days. If you have a bad dog, leave it home. Don't make it everybody else's problem. What are you? Well, you're a new little flower to me. I'm sure I saw you last time, but that's a big flower for such a little bush. Oh, and they're all kind of budding right now. Hey, this one's doing it too. Just starting. A little baby velvety buds. Groovy. I am becoming less tolerant to people's dogs. Uh, at breakfast yesterday, there was a section hiking couple. They were going to be going southbound. But they could not go in and enjoy the breakfast, even though they stayed there. Because their dog wouldn't stop just barking. It wasn't being aggressive. It was just barking at everything. Its eyes were all bugged out and it was drooling like it's never been around people or something. And so I was nice enough to remind him every time, you know, I'd look over and their dog is just like, wah, 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 wah. it's like, we all hate your dog, just so you know, you know, and they'd move around to the side of the building and it's, it's like, you know, and as I walk by there, I'm like, yeah, we all still hate your dog. <laughs> just maybe some people need to be reminded that their dog sucks. Stop bringing them out, man. Why does everybody want to make their bad dog everybody else's problem? Like, no, he loves nature. Yeah, he sure fucking does. He just hates people or other dogs. And this is a very people-y trail. The most people-y trail. Man, you know, I know it's not the dog's fault, it's the owner's fault. I put no blame on the dog. More than likely New York's girlfriend's dog was abused. It was a rescue. More than likely it was abused by men because that's how it works. Having a deep voice and, you know, a very manly appearance, I could see where I'd intimidate that dog. But you knew your dog sucked before you brought it to the trail, man. You know, don't worry, everybody else will love to deal with my problems. I'm cute. Tee hee hee. No, you're not that cute. <laughs> you're just not. And even if she was, she's, she's not nearly cute enough to make up for how bad her dog is. If you're hot, you can get away with some stuff. But when you're average looking, you can't. Just being shallow and realistic at the same time.
Where did all my bird song go? Four miles in some shelter and two miles to the road. Groovy. So that puts me at about five for the day, maybe six. That's not bad. Oh, no, maybe seven. I think it's seven, actually, because I think it was nine to the road. Yeah, it was exactly nine to the road when I woke up. Look at me get miles in. Almost like a real hiker. Evidently a bit of a storm came through here, knocked over a buttload of trees. Guessing that ridge gets a little windy sometimes. Happy 420 miles, or 820 for me. Okay, well it's, it's 419 point something, but you know, I'm pre-gaming. I'm assuming since they set up on mile marker 420, that they will have supplies. I mean, that would, that'd kind of be false advertisement if they didn't. Hoping there's some peeps there, I know. It's always cool when you see people that you you forgot you knew. It's been so long. Oh. oh may run into bag of tricks. Get him to do his owl hoot for you. Dude does a perfect owl. So I'm doing it one day, and instead of everybody looking at him, they started looking up in the trees and whatnot. 
I didn't think he was able to throw the owl noise. It was spot on. Oh, so close. Maybe nice. I haven't taken a break yet. I don't really need them. But it is nice to sit on your duff for a little while. And I figured I'd just sit on my duff for a few hours at this place. Give 12 a chance to catch up with me. And then we do another six miles afterwards. There's supposed to be trail magic at mile marker 428 as well, I heard. Excuse me, but I don't think I'll be making it down that far. Close, but no cigar. If we wanted to, we could make it into town tonight. But, you know, it costs extra money. We already have a room booked for tomorrow night. So, the goal was to get there early so we we're all rested and relaxed. Do a few chores and then, you know, just make it fun time after that. Take a day off. Spend it on my back. Officially lit. Sometimes things hit harder than you would expect. Pre game successful. There's supposed to be a rotting cabin up here. Ooh. The tagline in the comments was rotten like my ex girlfriend. And a lot of people agreed. So let's see if it looks like anybody I know. Oh yeah. Not much left, huh? Ugly, old, well used, unloved. Poor thing. Oh yeah. You won't be standing too much longer. The weight of that roof is going to collapse that thing. So if you come down in that corner, it's just a matter of time. All right, we are so close. And directly after it is a cow pond. Guess you gotta, you know, collect water. I mean, because it's right there. It would make sense to have a pond next to your place. Guessing if you just dig a hole here, it'll fill up with water. We are here. It appears quiet still, so we're just gonna go in and mosey our asses on in. I only see one vehicle. I'm just going to go sit and wait. Oh, so a whole house going on over here. I didn't expect there to be a house. That must be a little early for some trail magic, huh? The early worm gets the bird. All right, so this is Riff Raff's setup. Um, I can't remember Drew's name, but he was here to greet me when I got in. They've got other trail magic being set up that isn't associated with them, so it's kind of like an overabundance of trail magic. But yeah, I'm starting slow. There's some fruits. Gonna wait, see what happens. We got stuff cooking over here. I heard there was shepherd pie, beans and ham, and other assorted things. I'll be here for a while.
I've been here for several hours. Eeyore has been taking great care of me. I'm sure I am not his favorite person by far, but he was still really great to me the whole time I was here. And then other people started showing up. Look at the crowd now. All right, so do it over here in the brightly colored shirt. That is Superman. He's kind of running the whole thing. This is his gig. He, I guess he is Riff Raff, him and another dude I have not met yet. But he has educated me on how I am getting through this stuff, uh, shown me a little path to get me around one of these big mountains and right into the camp where the party's at. And then he will tomorrow take us up the way and we can slack pack back to the party again, just a short section, make it into town. He'll give us a ride into town where we stay a night in the, in the room we have booked. Come back to the trail and he'll slack pack us the next 40-ish miles to trail this. We'll see how that all works out. I don't plan so well, but he makes it sound pretty simple. I'm going to reiterate with him one more time just to make sure he's serious and he just doesn't offer this to everybody, but he seemed pretty adamant about it. I was sold, but he seems like a good salesman, so, you know, I am a sucker for a good salesman. But he's got quite the spread. Um, we've been doing this for a long time, so I know he knows what he's doing. And I am willing to, you know, let go and just uh, go where the trail leads me, and I've been led here. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I'm glad to be here. Look at this. We do know somebody. Dirtbag is at the next location, so I'm going to see if he's still there. Turns out he's got a van. I was just talking to Superman about doing a slack pack today. Um, and he's like naming some names, and he mentioned Dirtbag. I was like, Dirtbag 2017? I remember that guy. He was a great guy. Uh, so um, I'm hoping to run into him, and hopefully he can help me out. But of course he would. He's a good guy. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we are out. We got a plan. We're going to see if we can make it happen. Hard to leave. The party just got started. Dude just showed up smoking and yelling and music and whatnot. But, but it, we will hit him at the next spot. I remember this. That rock was exactly in that same spot. <laughs> Ooh. Why does that go through this tree? That's not cool. Feel the burn. Come on, just a couple more steps. You got this. Ugh. Downhill. Oh, yeah. Watch out for fallen rocks. Okay, down the stairs we go. Not because we went the wrong way or anything. We're just going down to the falls. The AT branches is off there. There's a little blue blaze that leads straight to the shelter. And there's this one. It's a little longer, but Superman said it was totally worth it. So, very beautiful, nice follows and stuff. So, taking his recommendation, of course. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, these are big steps. I love all these bridges. So much easier than taking my shoes off, picking my way through that. I feel spoiled. Damn, another one? Oh, so easy. Look at me, I still got dry shoes. This is where I would be going up. We're planning on slack packing back down. See how it goes. Let's go left now. Trail magic. Riff raff. So I'm wait here for 12, give her a chance to catch up and carry on. Look at this beautiful path. Easy breezy. Okay, slight change in plans again. Woo hoo hoo. Um, I don't think I'm going to go slack back and I'm just going to go hang out at camp and have a good time. Uh, 12 and I parted ways. Uh, she needs a little more emotion, emotional investment than I am able to give. So as adults, we decided to part amicably. And we can still be friends. So that really frees up my schedule. And <laughs> lets me go back to doing what I do. I'm better as a solo act anyway. But good luck to her. She's got this. I hope give her some tools she needs. I'm sure she can do this if she decides she wants to. But we all have things we got to work on. And some of them we have to work on by ourselves. And I am a large personality to be around. And overshadow a lot of people. I hope this is where I'm supposed to be going. It's where all the wet footprints are. So I'm assuming it's so. a lot of blue glaze now. So let's go see what's going on in camp. Okay, parking lot, do a little road walk in. There, it's down point six and on my left. And then we'll see if I feel like slack back. And if it's convenient and whatnot, yeah, I'll probably take it. Okay, guys, we got here a bunch of people. Fire is here. You recognize him right away. Brightly colored. Ooh, camping options are limited. Hmm. 
Okay, in the sea of tents and whatnot, Camp Crawler is up in here. Unfortunately, I'm in with the poison ivy and such, but as far as I remember, I'm immune to it. But yeah, there's a whole thicket of it right there. Some underneath me, just bits here and there. I'm trying to arrange a slack pack. I ran into Dirtbag. He straight remembered me. That's cool. He doesn't look like he's changed much at all over the past few years either. So I'm seeing if he can help me arrange a ride to the trailhead. Oh, I'm having a flashback of this place. I've been here before. I was trying to get water over here, I'm pretty sure, from that spot. And these geese ganged up on me because they have their babies out. Look at their fuzzy little babies. But they straight thugged up on me, and they're kind of tough, so. But I had to get my water. Well, slack pack it is. You can hear boots off hostile down the way. They're having competing trail magic. And there is actually a competition. Boots off seems a little salty. But you know, they're business. They're trying to make money. And Riff Raff is taking their money essentially by helping hikers. You see both sides of that coin. I didn't actually expect to be out here again today. Yeah, it might be a little awkward to run in the 12 again. I'm headed the opposite direction as her. It just sucks knowing that she's hurting. I'm fine. I miss her a bit, but I'm fine. She was getting emotionally invested. So I know she's hurting right now. And it sucks that I'm the cause of that pain. But I'm not necessarily the cause. I'm not the one who started talking about feelings and whatnot and just wrecking everything. Couldn't leave well enough alone. I just passed 12. And she had time to think about it. And she wants, she doesn't want this to end yet. I don't blame her. We can still have fun. We don't have to get feelings involved in things. But we'll see how it goes, man. I'm cool with hanging out with her as long as it's fun and easy breezy. I ain't looking to get hitched out here. Well, that wasn't so bad. I think I'd done most, if not all, the uphill part of this. Barely even drank any of my water. But I did come in here with a few beers in me. I didn't expect it, but I started jogging. And that was about a mile, a mile and a half ago. It has been a really good downhill. And it turns out, I am in pretty fucking awesome shape. Look at the speed. I can't even keep up with my feet. Fucking turbo mode, man. Not even breathing heavy. Oh, my ankle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> A few moments later. Ow, oh, my ankle. Nothing outlasts the crawler as her. He keeps going and going and going and going. Parkour, parkour! <laughs> oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I 
Okay, back to walking. My thighs are burning a bit, and I don't want to, you know, get all stupid sore. I have not run in years. Jogging muscles and hiking muscles are quite the same. But I should do a bit more jogging. I really should. But it's where I get the chance. I always have that pack on. I'm not jogging with that thing on. I've done it in the past, but it is not wise. <clears throat> you end up screwing your ankle up. Whose fault is it? Oh, I was just trying to run with 40 pounds on my back. Well, that was easy. We're back. Kachum. Trail magic. Man, I ate way too many beans this morning. I've been farting up a storm and I really need to drop a deuce, but I didn't bring anything with me to cat hole, so. I'm just trying not to crap myself on the way there. Uh, that was another reason I stopped jogging. The lesser of the two, though. The thighs are really burning. I guess about the last thing I want to do is crap myself on the way back. Just came through here and I already like don't remember these stairs. I'm like, did I go up these? I'm assuming I'm on the right path. But how quickly I forget. Oh, that's a lot uphill. You sure you go the right way, man? I'm gonna check the map. I don't remember this. But I probably did it. That's sprinkling. He's not supposed to do that today. Luckily, I am close. Within a quarter mile, I guess. Glad I didn't bother to bring any rain gear. Now I bring a rain jacket on a... on a slack pack. And I was like, yeah, this is a pretty quick one. Six miles or so. I guess seven with the whole walk back, but still. It smells nice. Well, I haven't smelt that smell in a while. Rain hasn't smelt this good in a minute. Whole party going on, man. This is great. This is exactly what I needed. I'm going to come over here and hang out at the fire. Less excitement over here. That's dirt bag right there. All right, there. He knows how to build a fire. That's gripper. Uh, gripper overcharged. Look at that. Those fuckers can build a fire. That's ketchup rock and a banjo, man. He's a very likable man as well. I'm having a good time here. This is where I belong. Look at this fire! This is exciting. How long until everybody has to back up? <laughs> The banjo is out! Jesus! Woo! That's Crocs. Saving the chairs. 
the music never stops. And these are what memories are made of, man. Their bag still feeds the fire. <laughs> if you're gonna build a fire pit that big, use it. How bright you are. We don't have these out west, so I get really excited about them. And that's totally one. I saw you in your silhouette. <laughs> I gotta go wash my hands. I might have poison ivy on myself. I'm all itchy. Yeah. Let's glow in the dark frisbee.